In this video, I take my experience with combat and speed to explore Minecraft 1.19 for 100 days. For example, on day 14, we already had beaten the game, and we had the best tools and armor that you could get. We'll explore everything Minecraft 1.19 has to offer. Yes, even the Warden. Our first challenge was actually finding a good seed. Ah, uh, because... that's the name of the game, boys. That's the video. What the heck? Oh, I found something really cool. Oh, and a village. Oh, I just spotted a village over there too. Behind us. Just like I mentioned, we found a desert temple and a village extremely close to spawn. Chest one, chest two, chest three, chest four. Mangrove. Yo, this is the seed. This is the seed. What? Blacksmith, give us something good. Okay. And we have four. Nice. Okay. Bucket. Perfect. Water. Yes. Some beds. More food. Perfect. I'm loving this. So for a little bit of context, at this time I am speedrunning Minecraft to beat the game so we can get the vanilla advancements out of the way. It's a completed portal. <gasps> Sweet. At this point in time, I completely forgot that I didn't have any wood in my inventory. And so now that we found a good seed, our next challenge is surviving in the nether. <gasps> Yo, this is a good speed run. Uh, save me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Please. <gasps> that was insane. Oh, I'm so good at this game. And so after realizing that I need an iron pickaxe in order to get a lot of gold to trade piglins for ender pearls, that was a mouthful. I needed to go back to the overworld and get some stuff. Wood included. And for those of you who don't know, I'm opening my debug menu in order to locate a bastion. And I can happily report the bastion was only a hundred blocks away. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that's the first time it actually works for me. Uh, the, most of the times I, I do it wrong. And despite this being a good seed thus far, I still wanted to keep my heart pumping. You know what they say. You only live once. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Looks like I'm just coming up here. Don't mind me. Oh, that noise is not very nice. I quickly mined up all the gold blocks and then I pillowed out with the very few blocks I had. Oh my gosh. I think we escaped the conflict. Then we got greedy for more chests. Hey, Lena Rain, that's a good song. I'll take that. Thank you. After my greed had passed, we immediately started to trade for them juicy pearls. Let's start stockpiling the ender pearls. Yes, thank you, thank you. Oh yes, take more. Give me more. Oh yeah, okay. We've got 10. We have more than enough arrows to defeat the ender dragon. Okay, it's still day one. Time is looking good. <gasps> yes, okay. And so just like that, we were off to find the stronghold. Yeah, it's, it's, this is near a mesa. Shout out to our 1.1800 days. You should check it out if you like 118. But obviously you have to, to watch the end of the video because things are just going to get more insane as time goes on. So I'm going to make a quick tangent because I really want to see what's in here. Golden apple. Yes, I have to take that. Fortune three. Yo, I'm taking that. <gasps> That was pretty pog. Okay, I'm gonna throw again. And that shipwreck that we found while triangulating the stronghold was actually insane. <laughs> we almost got a full set of iron without doing anything. <gasps> oh! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! One eye? Sweet! Holy cow! Let's just go! Oh my gosh, that was awesome! Truly, I was quite surprised. I've never dug straight into the portal. But at this time, I had to concentrate because I needed to take out the Ender Dragon to continue my speed run. I'm not sure where my head is in this clip. I'm not sure why I'm placing the beds here, to be honest. Let's go! What a speed run. What a speed run that was to start off. Where's the egg? What? 
That was so weird. We're not heading home just yet though. The speed run is not over. The speed run is actually never over. We're gonna go to an end island. <laughs> We're gonna get ourselves an elytra. Yeah. Oh, that was a trick shot and a half. The first end city that we found was very small and didn't have an elytra, but after traveling a hundred more blocks, <gasps> yes. <laughs> oh, I don't have a pearl. Hmm. Let's go. I needed that. Oh, that was mighty close. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Oh, that perfect boots. Nice. Oh, we got a fortune three pick too. I'll take that. Oh, nice diamond pick. Really nice shovel. Oh, yes. And of course, the Elytra, as some people say. <laughs> I don't want to be living like this, like a peasant anymore. I want some diamond armor. Actually, in all honesty, I want full enchanted netherite armor. So, <laughs> we just dug straight down and found some. I just spit into my mic. That's a lot of diamonds. Well, I know what we're getting for starters. Uh, this is a slow and painful process, but we get a lot of diamonds for doing it. So let's grind away. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't even need to grind. We've already got a lot of diamonds. It well, this is nice. <laughs> well, this is, this is kind of nice. I'm liking this. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Dang it. We have barely started mining and we're almost at full diamond. I'm intentionally leaving this uncut. No. Uh-huh. Okay. 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 <laughs> what? What? Bro, <laughs> we're all... <laughs> No, no, what, what? That diamond mining session was less than two minutes long. <laughs> After that session, we decided to go back to the starting village that we found to set up a temporary base. Let's just go here, in the blacksmith. My all time favorite building from the start of Minecraft. Using the leather we acquired from all of the piglin trading, we were able to make a bunch of books and thus bookshelves to make ourselves a level 30 enchantment table. Okay, that's our first enchant. Uh, it's not the best. Thorns. Fire prod, gross. Okay, now we have the perfect amount of torches to just spam so that nothing goes in. We can get a level <laughs> two enchant to reset. This is not necessarily the most time efficient. Please give us. Oh, <gasps> yo, that's good. Okay, thank you. There we go. Something good. It's exactly what I wanted. There we go, prop four. On the topic of enchantments, that same day I set up a villager trading center where we will be trading a bunch of sticks for emeralds and then emeralds for some really nice books. Look at that. Though I was being extremely productive, I needed to calm down for a second and walk through the mangrove forest. It's just, it feels so dense in here. <laughs> the ponds at the bottom. Very precarious. After that brief walk, we upgraded our armor and tools with some more enchantments. Yep, I like it. It's gonna stick. Don't know why we're already naming our block or our items. They're just important to us. Let's do these top two pieces of gear. And of course we have to go with the almighty Betty. Betty is the fit the best name for an axe. If you say otherwise, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> We're going to the nether. It is day nine. We're gonna spend the rest of day nine, hopefully into day 10, getting as much netherite as we possibly can. Hey, look at that, first pieces. And now, of course, since we've come all this way, let's go ahead and just play some TNT. That was fun. <laughs> and here we are three days later upgrading all of our tools and armor. Oh, look at us. Day 14. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my heavens. You could say we're a no-lifer, you could say we're a try-hard, and I would not disagree with you. On the very next day, day 15, we took our OP gear and went looking for trouble. Voluntary exile. There's some Johnnies. Multiple Johnnies. <laughs> You're in my town. Stay away. You're in my town where the crits are insanely on point. <gasps> Villager friends are dying. Get rid of you. We got ourselves a totem. That's right, you can get out of town. Wait, raid defeat? What do you mean defeat? I'm literally owning these guys, what? Oh, because the villagers died. Guess it's just me and my two totems now. After satisfying my inner killer, it was time to perform the grueling task of getting good villager enchantment books. Efficiency 5 is a really good book. And for 34, wait, what am I doing? Yes, we're taking that. Holy crap. We just got it. Nice. Sharpness 5. Perfect. And let's put Ollie back down here. Yeah, you go in there, Ollie. Don't know if Ollie is a boy or a girl. Could be both. I mean... <laughs> Um, not that. It could be either. On day 16, my inner killer was calling again, so I took my Sharpness 5 Netherite Axe to the Nether, and I found this. Is this a whole new fortress? Right here? This has to be. This is a new fortress, but it's so close to each other. Yeah, look at that, our first Wither Skeleton Skull. Also, some gas tears would be nice. Nice. Because not only are we gonna defeat the Wither, but we're gonna defeat the ender dragon at the same time. I just came up with that on the spot, but it sounds difficult, so let's do it. <laughs> Not one of you wants to give me your head. Rude. <laughs> I guess you want to. And we got the third skull. A fourth skull? Okay, no, I, executive decision. We're doing two withers and an ender dragon, okay? Yeah, my testosterone levels have peaked. That's what I'm talking about. We got a fifth head. A sixth head! What? Mojang! What are these drops? What? I've barely done anything! I mean, I've been here, it's been two days, but I'm leaving. Oh, that was not smart. <laughs> I was like, oh no, here we go. Okay, we just used the totem. That's fine. That's fine. I was a little bit impatient. I'm getting a little bit excited. It's day 20. We're a little bit late to the party, but I wanted to do this. If you're enjoying the video thus far, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like. Thank you so much for doing that. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, quite the entrance, I must say. What? Quite the hits, I must say. I'll see you on the other side. Oh yeah, baby, this is how it ends. It ends right now. It ends today.
<laughs> uh, dragon, don't get in the way. Oh yes, it's payback time, boys. Just where I want you. <laughs> oh, these guys don't know what's coming. They don't know what's coming. Anytime now, dragon. Anytime now, dragon. Yes! This is it! This is it! Moment we've all been waiting for! Yes! 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 Come on! Yes! No! Come on! Yes! 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 Oh! There couldn't have been a more perfect way to go out. Day 20. We did it. Now that we've practically peaked when it comes to old Minecraft advancements, it was time to check out everything 1.19 has to offer. Starting with Mangrove. Sounds like I'm talking about some part of a man. Uh, yeah, the Mangrove biome. <laughs> I've got minions. I mean, I've got friends that like collecting things for me. <gasps> Yo! Haha, <laughs> thank you, good sir. Now let's just go to town. This is gonna... I mean, it's not game-changing by any means, because they're not like their own inventory space, but it's still awesome because we can just be collecting and we really don't have to worry all that much about picking up every single block now. All we have to worry about is the- if we have a lays and they're not dead. I mean, the fact that these guys work for no payment, it's honestly quite nice. And then we tried out the new boat chest. Okay, so how does this work? You just put boat chest- oh, yo! That's awesome! And then I can press E and access the inventory. Oh my gosh! Okay, this is pretty sweet. I like it. We visited the mountains and found ourselves some goat horns. Well, we found a screaming goat. <laughs> to you two. Yes! Oh, yes! Haha! <laughs> we got it! Hallelujah! Oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> He's missing a horn. Are you the screaming one? Are you the one that I absolutely adore? Feel. Huh. And we ended up meeting frogs and tadpoles. Gonna put you in a safe spot till I can find others. Hello. <gasps> yes! We got the advancement when the squad hops into town. Also, I noticed that there's some tadpoles down here. So, I think you can just... <gasps> yeah, you can pick him up! Look at that! We have a bucket of tadpole! Look at him! Look at that cute guy! By the time we were done with the goats and the frogs, it was day 30, and I decided I wanted to go exploring. At this point in time, I wasn't looking for anything in particular, I was just exploring the world to see if there was any place that I would want to base. I do decide on a very interesting place to base. Go ahead and place your guess in the comments. I'm very curious to see what you think. Ah, well, I think it's time I say goodbye to these guys. You've all been really nice, but you deserve to be free. Okay, let's go exploring. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> We're soaring! Alright, dolphin friend. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> Get it? Flipper side? Okay, I'm out. <laughs> oh, this guy's fast. I don't know if you're the fastest, but... <gasps> This is crazy. We need to find a place to base so we can take all of these animals. And oddly enough, we're going to be basing- Hurry, place your guess in the comments before it's spoiled. If you guess correctly, you get a cookie. Anyways, back to the story. The next few days, I continue my exploration to find exactly where I'm going to be basing.
Oh shoot. Hello there. I love you too, but I don't go for boomers. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just thought of that on the spot. I'm so creative. Oh, <gasps> wait a second. Skulk. Wait, hold on. I think we're really close to something good. Whoa. Okay. <gasps> Yo, we found it. No, this is the city. This is the ancient city. This is like the most daring thing. <laughs> Building down here. Are you kidding? Did you guess correctly? Honestly, what better spot to base in than an ancient city for 1.19? Oh, okay. That's poggers. Ah, uh, yes. Here we are. The gang's all together, except for a few allays. Alongside transferring everything I owned and my animals to this new location, there was also a spawner right next door, so I was able to mine this out to make a more efficient zombie farm. Got ourselves some swift dance pants. And then for the next day, I went around and I looted the ancient city. Oh, we just got other side. <gasps> Whoa, what the heck? I mean, wait, it's a disc fragment for music disc five. <gasps> I wonder how many of those we need. I'm assuming probably nine in a crafting table. Two more. Oh, <gasps> yo. Oh. <gasps> What? And we caught some zombie villagers. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, in the name of love. Why the heck not? Lorraine. <laughs> That's a good name. We brought you... beds. Because... stonks. We're going on a 10 day mining time lapse because... We need a ton of iron for a future project. Some might call it the final project. Sadly, because I do not have a dynamic lights mod, the entire experience looked a little bit like this. However, between days 40 and 50, I was mining all the way through, and here's my proof to show it. That is what 10 days of mining iron with Fortune 3 gets you. Well, hold on, go ahead and turn up your brightness a little bit, because when I was mining, look what I found. Wait a second. There's no way that's the same ancient city, is it? I need to check this out. This is different. Oh, <gasps> what? It's like a thousand blocks off the other. And so obviously, you know, you just have to plummet from the ceiling down and go loot everything inside. So that's exactly what I did. Oh, that was awesome. And now we have three notch apples to our name. Boys, we ain't dying. So after putting a few quick enchantments on my tools, I went out and I got a bunch of deep dark blocks that I would need to make my base. I also spent a bit of time lighting up the area and removing some of the chaotic blocks. And before I could build my base in peace, obviously I noticed that a lot of wardens were spawning, so I went around and I removed the skulk shriekers so that the wardens would stop spawning so much. And after two days of going around, I've got 48 skulk shriekers. <laughs> 48 of these guys I found in this area. And so just like that, we had barely gotten started, but it was already day 70 in the base and we hadn't even started our main project. So it was time to get going. Now my building is a lot of freestyle. So most of this I just made up on the spot. I had an idea of something that would be cool. And this turned out pretty much exactly what I was thinking. And just like that, it's done. <laughs> wow, we finished every single piece and it connects up pretty well. And we can just walk down here and go between each pillar. And this is a good spot for a farm. Now we can get a couple of our hoes. No, I'm not talking about that. Get your mind out of the gutter. Some carrots, potatoes, maybe some melons. And after all of that, I just realized that we made this one a tad bit smaller than the others. At least we caught it. Now I don't have to be forever internalized as someone who messed up their template. 
After creating the farm in our base, I knew that we would have enough food for the villagers to be able to reproduce, so I cured them. We are zombie doctors. <laughs> Welcome home, brother. Lorraine's coming too. Your wife will be here shortly, but you must stay in there so you don't die. Yeah, there's Lorraine. You guys are gonna make me rich. But of course, in order for them to make me rich, I needed food. So I went ahead and I lit up my farm a little bit more and started planting away. And for those who care, this is around day 77. And now my base was finally established enough that I felt comfortable bringing all of my animal friends down. So I started increasing the ice path so that we could fit a boat in along with goats, llamas, horses, and parrots. So after a little bit of thought, I went ahead and I just put some uh, mangrove trapdoors here to make it look like it's extended ever so slightly. And then I was able to put these fences around here along with some lanterns to light it up because these animals, they want to live in style right next to our beautiful eco farm and our villager trading hall, which is definitely environment friendly. Okay, staircase, we're <laughs> continuing to build up the staircase. Oh, come on. We've got a lot of animals coming down here, so we need a big staircase. Also, we need something that's just easier to come into. Come on, little birdies. The birds are like, where are you taking me? Don't worry, guys, it'll be fun. It's an adventure for all of us. <gasps> baby goat. Whatever floats your baby goat. He's so cute. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> Goats in boats. It's kind of just a match made in heaven, really. <laughs> This is the weirdest thing I've ever done, I think. Nah, actually it's not. Yeah, this is by far not one of the weirdest things I've ever done. Okay, I don't think you've ever seen this in Minecraft, let's be real. <laughs> Everyone's down here with me, I'm not lonely anymore. Also, I was doing more cleanup work around the base, and I found this in the main structure. Really? What is this? What? What did I just find? This is a thing? They just have redstone down here? This is just kind of pointless. Is it not? And there we go, we've got blocks, 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 valuables, food, trading, wood, rares, mob drops, potions, enchantments, and tools. Whew, it's pretty organized. It's a lot better than what we have going on down there. So we're gonna get everything transferred. And then we're also gonna create a little design for the villager trading hall. So we have that all set up, which is really cool. Now when we walk around, it just kinda, <laughs> it's like a little selector for our characters. I then began to mass produce potions and I really started to enjoy just how fun it is to make all different types of potions. However, there was one potion that was going to take quite a few days to get my hands on, so I had to get started. Ooh, thank you. <gasps> there you are! You're gonna be an adult before you hit the water! Oh. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> I don't wanna... Yeah! All right. Let's get to work. It is now day 98 and we're preparing for the final project. I'm sure you can see where this is heading. On day 99, I decided to play all the music discs I had acquired over the 100 days. It sounded really weird. I don't know what emotion to give. Well, I made up my goal to play every every music disc that I collected at once, and there you go. Oh, this could be a suicide mission. It really could be. I'm not afraid. Only slightly intimidated. Come at me.
my gosh! <laughs> yes! Yes, dude! Oh! Oh! Thank you so much for watching. Now that you're done with this video, you should watch this next one where I PvP the Warden in Iron Armor.